Hey Tappers! A question that inevitably comes up after someone has discovered tapping is, can you use tapping to change someone else or shift them without their knowledge? After someone has experienced success in getting rid of something they've had that felt impossible to release, it's quite common for them to think of someone they know and they love that they want relief for or that there's a long-standing conflict between them and they don't believe the other person would be open to tapping as a solution. In other words, in some way they feel helpless to help the other person shift and they are wondering if they can use tapping as a solution without the bother of trying to get the other person on board. The typical answer to that is no. It's their subconscious, and let's tap on you wanting to control their choices and actions, which does tend to help. There is proxy tapping, but it hasn't been scientifically studied yet, so I'm going to simply say on that that some have felt some powerful things from it, but there's no specific proven method for it today. But today I am going to give you one other option for tapping on this, and that's a perspective tool to give you another way to look at it. It's something that I call same team. Now this is a concept I came up with years ago for conflict resolution. Most arguments look like this, where there are two people who are emotionally charged on opposing sides of an issue. They identify each other as the issue and attempt to resolve it by appealing to or beating down what the other person is standing for until only one is left standing and the other usually feels bitter and angry, although admitting defeat. Doesn't sound like much of a win to me. To apply same team, it is necessary that you can find a consistent, honest definition of the other person. Let's build an example. Person A and person B live together. Person A is constantly turning off all of the lights, complaining about wasting energy and money. Person B constantly leaves lights on, complaining they don't live in a cave and they like to walk into a bright room. Now they have reached an impasse and they constantly annoy each other with this issue. Now person B finds tapping and wants to use it to get person A to let go of what they think is caring more about money and electricity over the easy joy of having a well-lit space. How you apply same team is that you place you and the other person on the same side, on the same team, and you make the issue and the issue alone the opposing side. So to do this, it's helpful if you have a clear idea of the other person's coy behavior in your relationship and define it. So let's say that person B knows that person A is general, generally very kind, loving, strong-willed, and practical. So with same team, they now have a very kind, loving, strong-willed, and practical person on their side. And they are both working together to eliminate this issue of when the lights should be on or off. So how does this involve tapping? Well, now the issue isn't the other person. Instead, you have another person with other skill sets on your side, and the issue is that thing out there that is completely within your reach. This gives you the opportunity to have another perspective on solutions, because now you don't have to change another person or change their mind or see them as a barrier. So person B says, well, it makes me sad to walk into a dark room. I like the lights on all the time because it feels happy and grand and enjoyable. Well, you can tap on all of that and not feel stuck a bit due to the fact that the other person is making that not happen. And perhaps the outcome is person B realizes what is important is feeling happy and grand while at home. So if there were a way to feel that way and turn lights off while leaving a room, that would be fine. Let's say they find the solution with a mixture of timed and motion sensor lighting and their issue is now solved. It's helpful but not necessary if both people are willing to look at the issue through the lens of same team. But the main goal of it is to see your problem not as living in another human, which is in a place where you don't have any governing control and moving it and all of those negative emotions 
away from your loved one and allowing it to stand alone as its own entity, it then becomes accessible to you to resolve and it opens up the mind in a different way to realize creative solutions that weren't apparent when you were against each other. I hope this tidbit helps you. I'll see you soon.